Me too. So did I. Out the window and over the trees. High as a cloud and lighter than air. Then loop the loop and up to the stars. I've dreamed about flying all the time. What girls dream? Up to the stars. I like that. Me too. Eventually, we dream other dreams. We change. We grow up. It always happens. Nothing is forever. That's the rule. Everything ends. And so our story begins. Supposing all these broken planes are now rich and tired. And we are lords. And captains. Mothers. Sailors. Pirates. Tropical kings. And use your thoughts to hoist the sails and deck the ships awaiting this day in the misty dawn in 1885. A crucial year in Rand, Her Majesty Queen Victoria. God, God save her! her! <laughs> to what her grace had just thanked her in the of France. Lord Leonard Astor, dedicated minister to the Queen and devoted father. To Molly Astor, whose mother flew up to heaven when Molly was just six years old. In the years that followed, and Nelly was employed to care for Molly and provide her the essentials of young womanhood. While taking her with him on each royal mission, Lord Astor gave Molly a life a few girls would normally know. A life that made her so insatiably curious, insufferably bright, and pretty much friendless at school. Friendless? Ha! Friendless, you mean like... Leave me alone. Orphans, the most useless creatures on earth. Look at them! Passed out by mothers who can't feed them or love them? No mothers that take all but it's only schoolmasters. As much as I hate to lose you, and you, and you, I won't say no to opportunities. It's your trip on a ship. What ship? What trip? Sorry, I'm lost. Me too. Boys! We're, We're lost! lost! Boys! <laughs> and so it was on the brink of a new adventure. That, that three filthy orphans! Lord Leonard Astor, his friendless Molly, and her nanny, Mrs. Bombrick, journey at dawn to the, the docks of Portsmouth! Where two trucks are delivered to two ships, sharing the very same dock. Two trucks, deliberately similar to each other in their trunk of One of which would be a precious cargo belonging to two. To be accompanied by Lord Leonard Astor for a spanking new frigate. Commanded by Leonard's old school chum, the legendary Robert Falcon Scott, captain of the Wasp. Ooh. 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 Fastest ship afloat, bound for the remote kingdom of Rundu. And this other trunk, full of sap, courtesy of me, built slack. Captain of this other ship. <laughs> <laughs> The Neverland. Yeah. 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 The Neverland, uh, slower ship. Come along in the pool. <laughs> Who said poop? It's a magic ship, taking a longer route to run to, just to be safe. And while nobody's looking. And while nobody's looking. <laughs> I'm up the trunk, the one supposed to go on the wasp. And at the last second. All ashore! Who's going ashore? I'll switch him. Get this drunk on the Neverland, you garbage! Now some these boys into slavery. Drop the run to the Thank you, Queen's Treasure. 
also run doing with me aboard the boss. So I need more precious cargo to clear on the next one. Dark the web. Mrs. Bumbrick, bring her to me. Molly, my Molly. Please, please you. I don't like it on the ship. It's too dangerous on the on the water. I once we're done run doing, I will see you again. I could have sworn I hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Daddy, the cat, the ship's cat. A lucky sign. Here, Miss Puss. Molly, careful. It's all right, Daddy. You're the sweetest of the bird, isn't it? All of Molly loves all of God's little creatures. Daddy, I know you don't need my help in running, but I've got to start pulling my weight somehow. You're over it now, aren't you? I am. Coach now, promise? Promise. Yeah. Just then, a critter voice burst open. One of the boys almost falls out. Hanging upside, just next to Molly's head. He stares at her. She stares at him. He has an air about him. The look of a boy who doesn't miss much or say much about it. Back in the box, you monkeys! <laughs> Something about the boy makes Molly feel like she's just grown up a little bit. Daughter, a word. Yes, there is no place of treasure in the Queen's trunk, but what is it must be destroyed by the order of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. God save her! God save her! We'll have to be quick before the King of Hungary even knows I'm there. How are you going to destroy it? Can you keep a secret? I can. We can! No worse than you. Can we have Kitty with us? Yeah, oh, clear. Oh, piss pussy pet. She'll, she'll clean you. She'll rip your hands off. Don't mean to. Yeah. Uh, say hello to that little man. Uh, might let you out later for a little promenade. Maybe <laughs> do some petting of our own, eh? Don't trouble yourself now, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's go, my girl. <laughs> Don't worry, miss. I'll see you situated. Thank you, guys, nice, sir. No, thank you, my kind lady. You know, your eyes are as green as the sea and age just as wavy. Thank you, hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not this silly calendar, Junior Sweet. Get your finger in that dipping room. run, Junior Bungus. There's probably a little trace in the name. Thank you. 
my salad days. I was a green girl bringing up rats in a bit breezy brownstone in Brighton. That's a tight spot too. Yeah. It's hell in the house hotel. Especially the kitchen boy. A, a lovely island lad who cooked a cunning cannelloni. Thus a master bazaar to make you drool. <laughs> but oh, it made the master mad how the mistress moaned for his manicotti. He beat that boy something brutal, but the boy didn't say boo. Quintus, we must button our beaks and be brave like that boy, or my name is not Betty Bumbrake. Now, I'm well aware that you're afraid you'll never clap eyes on your father again, and that cuts me to the core. But never show that sorry is like the slightest sniff of fear, Molly. There are men who can smell it on you, and they'll make you pay! <laughs> <laughs> that is a stupid example if you're going to cry halfway through. Be a woman! Is this way to miss? Who misses? Bumberg, misses. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was wet once myself. Dreadful business. Uh, Mr. Bumberg bit the twig years ago. Left me winter at 40. <laughs> oh, 30! <laughs> <laughs> Is that food? I'm awfully hungry. Same for no ladies. It's for the pigs down there. Man. Pigs? Really? May I help you feed them? Well, I'm all my loves. I love God's other creatures, you know. <laughs> Not these ones, you don't. Know. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, don't spare. Cook slid up some yummy meat up in the garden. I'll come get you when it's up. Nothing too rich, pray. We girls must watch our waistlines. Didn't think about getting in shape yourself. Round is a shape. Sorry? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so true. You're quite the specimen. No, I got. Unfortunately, my stomach covers them up. I best be off now. TTFN. <laughs> he's rough, but he's ready, my owl. <laughs> he smelt like smelts. True. But there's a whiff of hero on him. Look my words. He left the cabin to our char. I could follow him and feed the piggies. May I, Nana, please?
these weren't quite so particular. No, no, we're all giving. You said you wouldn't eat it! Yes. Wait, what are you doing? You'll get us a beating! You lay that you. I'm called Mr. on this vessel. It's a term of respect for a lifelong of sea foreign. And never mind him. He has a real problem with authority. <laughs> so do I. Look, lads, I know we're going to rough us. We'll the greasy pipes so we can just settle down to one thing. Question, mister. One. Do we have to stay down here in the dark? The sling hangs over the king's arm off. It's all off nice. Off! Oh. That's two. I've got a sick feeling about this. I think it's something. No, you won't. Ah! In my experience, boys are sadly slow thinkers. What is it? What are you? I'm a girl. No way. We saw a girl once. <laughs> Headmaster's daughter. It was nothing like you. It was our ad, right? I'm going to get you. Who's the leader here? Who wants to know? Molly Astor. Dr. Pretorius back home says I have an extraordinary high level of brain power. You're so smart. Then why are you stuck on this dirt bucket? I'm not stuck. I'm going to meet my father at Rendu. He has important things to do. We have important things to do. No, we don't. And the leader in our city have important things to do. It's not the leader. <laughs> you. You. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 13. I'm 13. I just remember today's my birthday. I'm 15. Wait, if you're 13 and today's your birthday, you'll be 40. <laughs> well, I only celebrate odd numbered birthdays. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't matter how old you are, I'm the leader and the leader has to be a boy. Hey, up on our end of the ship, we get served proper food. I can lead you there. Which would make me the leader? Proper food? Really? Just tell me your names. Why should we? Only that, if you have names, we'll serve you meat. Ted! I'm Ted! But I call him Tubby because he's food obsessed. I'm not food obsessed. Do you write poems about pie? To pass the time. Hide the beans in your blanket. It's a blood sugar thing! And faint at the merest whisper of deathless, sticky pudding. Sticky pudding! It's so good! Like I said, food obsessed. <laughs> I'm Francis and I'm in charge of Ever notice, Ted, the more you claim leadership, the more it eludes you. Oh, snap! <laughs> and what do you, boy? Leave me alone. Sorry. Sorry. Don't take it personally. He's rude to everybody. It's why he gets beatings. And why I have no friends. Go on, tell her your name, why don't you? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? He doesn't, he doesn't have a name. Been orphaned too long to remember. Crippen calls him Mule! Mule. Go on, you and your stupid name! Go follow some stupid girl! Like we need your permission, friendless. It doesn't cost you any more to be nice, charmless. What about the food? You could be like temporary leader, but only till we eat. That morning boy, I shall expose you to you. As the boy had never been shown any ounce of interest before, his eyes began to sparkle, and the lure of competition wiped some of them, wiped some of the misery from his face. Right, follow me. Right, follow mother. Molly. That's what I said. Follow Molly. <laughs> One man wished to be alone, but he didn't really need him. The sparkle in his eyes faded, and the sounds of the dark reminded him of the old fish. Made him think of. Where's that mule? Yes, sir. Oh, you all shaped a mask in your loin. Look at this fellow! Don't hit me, sir. Suspense dirty work. You're afraid of his own shadow. Be a man! Thank you, Mr. Grumpkin. Uncover yourself. Disgrace to the mother that left you! You two watch on your necks! The boy in a whisper of the song of the bear. You saw a shadow of a father. Father and son. Mother and child. So much on ground for hope. Still, he believed. His wife is distressed and sorrow. Like one day, such a home would be his. Far away, far away, far away would I roam. Home. Orphan room number one! Life is meant to be horrible. Room number two! There are no orphans in heaven. Room number three! This is Grampkin's ugly. <laughs> And if you laugh, you're dead! Come on, you! Last chance! Be asked to not leave boys 
Shift our attention now to the other ship, barreling due south at a brisk 12 knots. That fine British frigate, the oh, Wasp. Where Molly's father and Lord Asper had an ushered roughly below deck. Captain Scott's cabin, your lordship, do go in. Well, if we crammed for a captain's quarters. Ah, no frills on a frigate, sir. Sanchez, pull the door to. There's a good fellow. Where's the captain, Lieutenant? I'm no lieutenant, I told the lie. Unthinkable! British never lie! <laughs> well, pirates do, don't we, boys? Ah! I can't see that. Why don't you say so? Presto! Scotto! <laughs> what? Robbie! Believe this man! I'll take the key to that treasure trunk of yours. You'll have to kill me first! We were going to kill you second! Hold <laughs> on, Increase this furrowed brew? Brow. <clears throat> Brow. Yes, well, fret not long forever, for I am a romantic and there's a poet in these pirates' veins, and so I plug into the muse. But what to do? What style to use? Iambic? <laughs> Box office poison. <laughs> Haiku? Samurai don't think so! Like <laughs> the cuticle smear! <laughs> I got it! A pirate with scouts of panache wants to eat at your trunk with the cash. But I'll give you advice, though I seem to be nice, I'll catch you! Slit you up one side and down the other so you can watch it and start to flop on the deck! That's the style. Smee, you did explain to my lord that I'm a bloodthirsty outlaw! I can, but he still wouldn't give up the key! We don't have all night. People are paid for nannies and parking. She knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stand aside or I'll have to do it in my cell. Or I'm not. <laughs> or I'm not. <laughs> what am I? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> in the first yes. The trademark nose brush of every man, woman, and child in my family is right back to the Amoeba. But this face foliage has been oh so much more than a long on the lip. It's who we are, what we 
minds. Uh, everyone else thought that the pirates gave him a stash and stuck his house. Knowing that one day his ship would come in. Well, boys, this is the day, and this is the ship! <laughs> Now, come on, keep a look. Not a chance, you spam face tool bag. Oh, spam face tool bag! <laughs> 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 Discovered anywhere in the entire universe. That's only one thing. And uh, the second thing is a dilemma, a, a large one. So how do you call it? The Cadillac Escalade of dilemmas. In point of fact, a little birdie tells me that your darling daughter is sailing to Randune on the Southern Sea Point. Aboard what was it? The Naval Nerd! The Neverland, sir. Huh? The Neverland, sir. Neverland. I was close. I was pretty down close. Ah, same letters. Splitting rabbits, really. Hairs, sir. <laughs> Splitting hairs. Yes, that too. Ooh, I have an idea. I know you love your money above rubies, so what say you do a detour? We could drive, you know, drive this sucker to the Neverland. We could pick her up, but you could watch her die. Unless you're feeling a little bit more on the middle. Ooh, love your lockets. Oh, what's in your pocket? Oh, allow me. <laughs> Done and dusted, Cupid's and custard. Here's the key, boy. <laughs> Definitely glowing. Glowing, ringing, flying. 
could only mean one thing. Star stuff. Star stuff. The Queen's trunk is in Snag's cabin. Okay, nothing to see him. Move along. But that cat was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Tell me the right. Your next name was Hey! Brian. Snag's cabin was totally. You know, fun. you know it'd be fun? Has about a bedtime story. What's that? Oh, ha ha. Very confused. Oh my gosh, you thought things you've never had a bedtime story? This might seem kind of defensive, but... Kind of hard to have a bedtime story when you don't have a bed. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry, I didn't mean to. You say sorry so easy, like the rough patch is smoothed over. No hard feelings and everything's fixed. Well, no. There's dark. A massive darkness in, the, in this world. And if you get caught in that cave like us, it beats you down. Sorry would fix it. Better say nothing than sorry. <laughs> It's night, and the juice gets through the cracks, you know? Put the window over the window. And I see all those little stars that I can't reach. And I think back, you know, 100 years or something. Two or three hundred years. Supposed to be free. Life would be so beautiful. You don't want to have to say sorry again. Just know what happened. I think about that a lot. Well, that's more than he's said in the last 13 years. <laughs> So bedtime story is not a big priority, okay? No, it's not okay. I'm giving you one. It's a gift. Least I can do. Like, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty's a good one. You'll like it. There's a kiss in it. True love's kiss. Yeah! I don't know what that is. Then I'll tell you. Come on back to the cabin and I'll be mother. Now. The story of Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, well, that's how they always start. Once upon a time, a beautiful baby was born. And that baby had a big, bushy handlebar. It grew as he grew up. And they both lived awfully ever after. The end! Thank you, thank you. Once I open this, it'll be nothing but pleasure cruises and the odd America's got for me. Now, open! <laughs> and prepare! What is that? It's Sansa. Sand? But that's impossible. What? When you say sand, you mean the utterly worthless, granular substance one associates with the water's edge! Yes, sir. I see. <clears throat> you might think a treasure trunk, sans treasure, has put my piratical BVDs in a twist! <laughs> How wrong you are. Well, yes, I hope to be hip deep in diamonds, but uh, there are poor sets of people that I really crave. You hell! Well, that match, what am I? Half a villain, a pirate in pot, ruthless but toothless, and then I saw you when I bought the flame. Can it be? Is he the one I've been waiting for? Would he, for example, give up something precious for the daughter he loves? But alas, he gets upset. Now, let's go over this one more time for the record. A hero with treasure, very good, right? A hero with no treasure, doable. No hero. Um, sand? Not so much. Now where is my treasure? What if they swapped the trunk, sir? So what do you say? Oh, stupid idea, me. Stupid, stupid. No, 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 Smee. You switch right here on the dike. Deck! Deck! <laughs> deck. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Deck. <clears throat> In which case... The trunk of the treasures aboard the Neverland. <laughs> What do we know about the Neverland? She's a slow ship, Cap. Oh, sadly slow. What's up, our ship, the Wasp? We're fast, Cap. Super fast. Which means we're leagues ahead of her by now. Einstein, change of course. Hot about. You're behind the swamp of Basil. I'm the Queen of England. God, they don't shut up. <laughs> I said hot about, Gomez. Sanchez. Hit the pedal, Gretel. Sanchez. Burn Robert Bubba. Oh, get it to me, a shroom! Oh, you see? You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. 
Now choose it. Oh, the die is cast the kids. What? I want that treasure, boys. Catch me on Neverland. Six and a half? 
Well, I'm still an apprentice. Okay, so prove it. What? Go on, let me see you with your special powers. It's not like a magic show. I'm not like some magician. I mean, if you can't actually do anything. Fine, whatever. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. 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 Let's see.
shop isn't really excellent. This window for a guano or something fierce in your face. Oi! You see what I see, sir? The Neverland cap. She said right for us. <laughs> no, this is almost too easy. I'm even starting to feel a weensy bit guilty. Just doesn't know 
his place. Neither Trump will say goodbye to your backdrop captain. Crackle sounds of splintering wood, flapping canvas whipped by wind. The Neverland. She's Stem to stern. Born oh, oh, shit! Have! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! She took it off! Main Grace is gone! Oh, this wind is like a whip. 